new VR games and releases October 2022. While we got most of last month's releases in our roundup post at the beginning of the month, no there were also a few surprises in September. Perhaps the biggest was Bone Lab, available now for Quest 2 and PC VR. You can watch video in my channel it brings the full Boneworks experience to Quest 2, for better and worse, you can watch a gameplay always as my channel. Remember the Crisis Brigade series? Well, the second game in the series has been rebranded as Crisis Brigade 2, reloaded and is now available through the official Quest store for the first time. In terms of updates for existing games, Little City's got a fantastic new batch of content and the free attractions update. Likewise, Walkabout Mini Golf launched its latest paid DLC course, based around the classic Jules Verne novel 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Townscaper VR Stemming from a flat-screen game released in 2021 by solo developer Oscar Stahlberg, Townscaper is a city builder with no goals or objectives. Simply create an aesthetic seaside town in different colors and shapes by placing elements and planning a layout with the help of the game's algorithm. Runner Runner is an 80s-inspired title from indie studio Truant Pixel that mixes motorbike racing and gun combat with an anime flair. Anyone else getting Akira vibes or just me? Runner releases on Quest 2 on October 6. A PC VR version is also in the works, but the release date for that is still TBA. I had no choice. Unplugged, Rocktober. Through October, VR air guitar game Unplugged is dropping four new tracks as part of its Rocktober challenge. When each song releases, you'll have one week to play the new song on hard difficulty and compete for rewards by placing on the global leaderboards. There's rewards for the top 100 leaderboard scores for each song, but the top 10 will unlock a unique guitar skin. This week, it's the rock guitar skin pictured above. The new songs are Eddie Gray, Hideaway, October 3rd, the Sound Room, Against, October 10th, The Final Round, Spark, October 17th, and Vitten, Say Goodbye, October 24th. Requisition VR, Early Access. I know what you're thinking, wasn't this listed as a September release last month? Yes, it was, however that September Early Access launch date got pushed midway through the month, going from September 22nd to October 20th. The four-player online co-op survival title will be available in early access via Steam later this month. Original on Steam. Half-Life VR it features mod features two-handed weapons. Hot off last month's launch of the much scopes, anticipated Half-Life 2 VR mod on Steam. Reloading, another community-made mod by a different team. Ladder climbing, for the original Half-Life will make the game playable in VR via swinging, Steam later this month. And more. This looks and plays fantastic in VR. It makes Half-Life 2 feel like a truly native VR game. Morels, Homestead. Morels, Homestead released for Quest late last year, but now it's coming to PC VR as well. This sandbox VR adventure will let you unwind and relax by building your own countryside home, launching on October 27th via Steam. Hardware releases and other surprises? The above list isn't huge, it's true but it's nonetheless looking like a big month for VR. It's likely that there are some surprise launches due later in the month that we don't know about yet. Meta is set to host its annual Kinect conference on October 11th, so there's a good chance we get some game reveals, announcements and or releases during the keynote, as usual. On the hardware side of things, Zuckerberg has indicated that Quest Pro will launch later this month, even though it's not a gaming-focused device. Likewise, Pico 4 is set to ship on October 18th for Europe, South Korea, and Japan. And that's our list of new VR games for October 2022. What are you planning on trying out? Let us know in the comments below. Someone, anyone, please help! Okay! Uh-oh! Get away from me! Come on! Get this in history class! <laughs> 